Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what I got for Christmas, which I originally wasn't planning to do. I actually really prefer doing like really highly edited videos, which is why I tend to do a lot of getting ready videos and routines and things like that because I really love the creative side of YouTube a little bit more than like the haul and things like that. Although I do love to share that kind of stuff too. But when I got a ton of requests to do what I got for Christmas, I thought, all right, I'll share what I got for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share it. I don't have like a bajillion, kajillion things, but I have some things that I'm really excited about. And Christmas is usually a time, me and Byron, we don't often like surprise each other too much. Every once in a while, we've been married for eight years in June and, um, We'll do like little surprises here and there, like he's taken me out of um, the state before and like we've done romantic things, but we don't do it every single year. And so most of the time we have like Christmas lists and it's pretty like, you know, systematic. Well, not really systematic, but it's just kind of like, hey, this is what I want. Okay, I'm going to get that for you type of thing. But yeah, that's what I do. I am a little stuffy because I got a little cold. We um, have been moving. Oh! I'm actually doing a house tour that'll go up on January 2nd. I partnered with a production company that I used to work with doing a show called Dressed to the Nines for like forever. And um, they wanted to capture me and Byron's moving experience and moving into the new house. So we got all that in the house tour. It's gonna be an empty house tour. Um, and then I'm gonna do another house tour once I get all my furniture in, um, which is gonna be a while. Like some of my furniture is not gonna be delivered until February or something. But I will do another house tour down the line once I fill it all up. But we're doing the empty house tour so you can kind of see it that's gonna go up on January 2nd so yeah sick new house Christmas haul okay I covered all my points so now I'm going to just jump right into what I got for Christmas I'll start with what my mom got me she always gets me a stocking in the same stocking that I've had probably since I was like three years old and it's really sweet my mom is super thoughtful with gifts always has been always will be she always knows exactly what to get me um, we talk a lot, so I'm sure she's kind of pretty much aware of, of what I like. And she always gets me really fun stuff. She was never like, here's practical Christmas gifts. She always got me stuff that she knew I wouldn't buy for myself or whatever. So, so she got me my favorite luxury bath products by Laura Mercier. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. And it smells, it smells like amazing. It also comes with a little honey stick. She also got me a ombre vanilla souffle body cream and these two scents really go really nicely together. She also got me the Fiji pineapple coconut uh, scrub and face and body coconut oil soap. She got me a mirror, a 10 times mirror, which I was like making fun of her for because I was like, mom, do you really think I need a 10 times mirror? She's like, yes, it's really good for tweezing. So I'm actually really excited to use this because you can see super close up. It's kind of scary. I don't even want to look right now, to be honest, but you can really, it can really help you out in the tweezing your eyebrows department. So I was a little nervous at first to get a 10 times mirror, but now I'm a little excited. So I used to have a few bonsais when I was a kid, but they're kind of hard to keep alive. And now that I have an office, I really want wanted one in my office on my desk. So my mom got me a bonsai um, and I was really, really excited about that. So, so I got some Christmas money and got a chance to kind of like splurge on a few things that I wanted. One of which was the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. I really wanted this one because it was small and compact. Um, and I wanted the first one, not the second one, because I really liked the colors to just throw in your purse or a small bag. So I got that. I got the kind of like sample size version of the Falling in Love Spray Fragrance. Um, I wore this a lot when Byron and I were first dating. Um, he absolutely loves the smell. I love the smell. I mean, they say, I used to work for Philosophy for like two years before I worked for Clarisonic. And the rumor was that this had pheromones in it and that's why they called it Falling in Love. So I've just always really loved it. This next thing has been on my wish list for like probably three years and it was a CC Sky Rose Gold Mercy Spike Bracelet. It is very good quality, it's very heavy, it's uh, rose gold plated and it just goes so nicely with my Rose Gold Michael Kors Lexington watch. And I'm really simplistic, I wear that watch all the time on most days and so this was like the perfect companion to it and so to me it was like the perfect jewelry investment. So the final thing that I bought with my Christmas money was a Stadler Form essential oil diffuser. I'm gonna put a picture here because it hasn't come in the mail yet. I got this for my mom as a Christmas gift and then I bought one for myself with my Christmas money. <laughs> so it was kind of like, but um, yeah, I really, really wanted one. She really wanted one. We actually went over to my sister-in-law Melanie's house and she was diffusing oils and she was talking to us about it. And I researched online the Stadler Form 
diffuser and I liked that it lasted 24 hours and I really liked the look of it. it I felt like it would really fit my home and everything and I would be comfortable diffusing using it. So um, I got one for myself. I'm really excited to try it out. I'll let you know what I think of it. From my brother and sister-in-law, I got a gift card to Crate and Barrel, which I already purchased a few things for the house. I'll put those up here like a little link. And Byron and I um, really wanted to get a telescope because now that we have a back patio and patio furniture, we live in an area now where you can really see the stars in the sky and we've been sitting outside and like looking at the stars at night and so I got him a telescope for Christmas. I got him a motorized computerized one and he got me for Christmas a spin bike which has been on my wish list for a really long time. I started taking spin classes at SoulCycle um, but it's, it's much farther away from me now where I moved and it's a lot harder for me to kind of get to a SoulCycle class. So the SoulCycle bike is like $2,500 and I didn't want to spend that much on a uh, spin bike. <laughs> so um, we decided that we weren't even going to go close to that budget, but we were going to get me some sort of spin bike that I could use and use consistently because I really like that type of exercise. Um, yeah, that was my Christmas. It was really, I feel very blessed and thankful and it's always above and beyond what I deserve. I'm sure, but it was just, it was so great to spend time with family and the gifts are great, but obviously Christmas is way more than that, and it means more than that, and it should mean more than that, more than that. And yeah, I mean, it was great to see Oliver, and um, I'm excited to see him even like next year when he kind of even understands the concept a little bit more. But we had really fun, like a lot of fun with the nieces and nephews. I bought them some games, and we played games on Christmas Day, and we just had a lot of fun with family. Everybody was together, and it was an amazing time. So. Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas. I'd love to see or hear what you guys got for Christmas in the comments below, and I'll see you guys very soon.